In today's video, I am going to be breaking down what I believe to be one of the best zone beaters in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been to my YouTube channel before, I upload four videos a day that are designed to help you in Madden 21 with some type of tangible tactic tip or concept that you can apply to your game to help you win more games in Madden 21. So if you're interested in my YouTube channel or what I can do to help you guys, go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And you can also turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon because we live stream every single night at 10 o'clock Eastern time. So we'd love to have you guys come by and check out one of my live streams. All right, guys, I want to continue with this gun split slot scheme today. Just so many good plays that I want to talk about. Today we're talking about what I believe to be one of the better zone beaters in the entire game. And that is the PAF slide. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your best wide receiver on the right-hand side of the screen, your fastest wide receiver on the left-hand side of the screen, and then your any slot receiver that you would like. And real quick, this is in the Arizona Cardinals playbook. There is actually going to be a full scheme breakdown um, for this in the description that you can get. Um, it's my Arizona Cardinals offensive guide in combination with my 4-6 defensive guide. It's a bundle guide, a Madden 21 competitive bundle guide. They both come together. There's going to be an absolutely massive update that goes into that guide this weekend that includes my two-back scheme, my mini scheme from two-back, a couple of different things in there. So be sure to pick up that guide. There's already so much from the gun spread, gun trips, and gun cluster. We're going to update it again uh, for you guys this week. Anyway, PAF slide. Let's jump into this. So literally, this is one of the best zone beaters because I'm telling you, what I like about two back this year is the flat routes are so good in Madden. Like literally just, they are amazing. One thing I did want to show you is this is actually kind of cool. If they are in man to man, you can actually put this running back right here. And what you're going to see is they're going to basically mesh and cause a man switch. And this is a way to beat man to man from the gun two back. To me, this is such a cool uh, concept. We're going to go back into it. Uh, we're going to go back into uh, zone here in just one second. But I did want to show you this concept in case you uh, may struggle beating man to man from gun two back. Literally, just motion this guy to the left. You see, he's going to be on this nice little flat route. And literally, you're just going to go this way. And what you'll see is these routes will be just fine. Anyway, zone coverage is. I think zone coverage is starting to become the meta, especially in Madden Ultimate Team. But literally, all you're going to do with this is you're going to streak Valdez Scantling, and then you're going to wheel Williams. And basically what this is going to create is it's going to create a nice little read on this right-hand side of the screen. If they don't hard flat, you're going to have basically a running back screen that's going to create for itself, uh, as you can see right there. If they do hard flat, um, then what you're going to have is your wheel route to Williams is going to get over the top of the hard flat. You'll see that this route's going to pull it down. And you can hit William Williams uh, really any any time through this. Uh, come over here real quick. We'll show you this. This is cover three with hard flats. And what you'll see, you know, and a lot of people put their zone drops out there. But what you'll see is you can pass that to the right. And you see I can possession catch that very easily against the zone coverage. What's also really cool about this uh, as a zone beater is the routes to over the middle of the field. You'll see against cover two, you can throw um, you can throw either the crossing route. You can still throw the inside flats. I actually really do like the inside flats most of the time against zone. But what you'll see is if they're like in man, this crossing route to St. Brown gets wide open against man-to-man -man coverage. The post route gets wide open against man-to-man -man coverage. The fade route to Williams is really good against press man because if he gets over the top of the press, um, he's going to absolutely crush it. But here you'll see Stephon, or uh, Devontae Adams' route typically will beat man-to-man -to, -man to the inside. Um, it does also beat zone coverage as well uh, fairly consistently. This is just your standard uh, Pat's, not Pat's sale, but just solid post route this year. Uh, for some reason, he's dropping the ball like crazy. One other little tip with this, I've actually noticed this in the patch. Um, if you just hold the uh, secure catch button once once you throw it, it actually does help the catching on post routes specifically. But here we'll show you, this is uh, press man-to-man -man coverage. You see that they'll sometimes, if they don't pass commit, they'll take the running back out of play by doing that if they, if they get a heavy blitz or something. What's really nice about that is it's going to basically act like a lead blocker for you. 
what you see here, I mean, this is just such a good little screen. Um, and that's what I love about it. That's what makes this such a good play. But this, to me, is one of the better uh, blitz beaters in the entire game this year, as well as uh, zone beaters, because this crossing route uh, gets over most zones. They're going to have to use zone drops to stop this. And the issue with using zone drops to stop something like this is you're going to have to basically run some type of cover three or cover four Mabel uh, coverage on both outsides, which is going to then leave the middle of the field vulnerable. So there's just not enough zone players to be able to defend this. Um, this wheel route to the running back is absolutely spectacular, especially when you combine the two. Like these little quick screens this year, and let me know as you guys are watching this what you think, but I just feel like you get such good blocking by the wheel routes. So these screens are really a viable option in Madden 21. I really hope this video helped you guys. If it did, leave a like rating on it as well. If you would not mind, I want to encourage you right now. One of the best ways to get better at Madden is to have a better community. And my community has come together on Discord. If you've never been to Discord before, it's basically a communication platform where you can talk to people and talk Madden 24-7. You can join the Discord by clicking the link in the description of this video. Make sure to pick up that competitive bundle guide. And if you guys want one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, I do want to let you know that I have started offering one-on-one -on -one personalized coaching sessions for 30 minutes or 60 minutes, depending on how much you want. Um, the link to that is in the description of this video. To me, there's no better way to get better than having a coach. In fact, in my life, I can look back and say, what's helped me the most improve, the times where I've gotten better the most is when I've had someone that is dedicated to coaching me, to teaching me, to critiquing me. And you know what? I might even be a better player than them, but their coaching has helped me see areas that I need to improve. So if you want a good coach, if you want a good Madden coach, I'd love to do that for you. You can uh, pick that up in the link of this uh, in the link in the description below. We'll see you tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern for our live stream. We'll also have a couple of other more videos coming, so be sure to check the channel in case you missed a video.